Hi, in this video you will learn how to change the aspect ratio in PowerPoint 2013 easily. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. You might be aware that there are two common slide sizes when it comes to PowerPoint. One is the standard 4 is to 3 slide aspect ratio and the second is 16 is to 9 slide aspect ratio. If you had been using PowerPoint 2010 or the earlier versions of PowerPoint, you might have seen that your slides are in 4 is to 3 slide aspect ratio. However, from PowerPoint 2013 onwards, you would see that the default slide aspect ratio is 16 is to 9. There are a couple of good benefits when it comes to using 16 is to 9 slide aspect ratio. One, as a presenter, you get a little more space to work with. Second, if ever you plan to convert your PowerPoint presentations into YouTube videos, then you would see that a 16 is to 9 slide aspect ratio matches with the default video aspect ratio of YouTube, which is 16 is to 9. So your PowerPoint videos would play beautifully on YouTube. Now I'm going to show you how exactly to convert your basic 4 is to 3 slides into 16 is to 9 slides, that is your standard size slides into widescreen slides. Here we have a slide with 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. When we go to the slideshow mode, you would see that there are these two black bands which indicate that the slide size is 4 is to 3. Now how do we change this 4 is to 3 slide aspect ratio to 16 is to 9? It's very simple. You go to design tab in PowerPoint ribbon. To the right you would see that there is this option called slide size. You click on it and here you can choose to switch between standard 4 is to 3 or widescreen 16 is to 9. As soon as I click on widescreen 16 is to 9, you can see that the same slide is now converted into 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. Notice a couple of changes here. One, the height is maintained whereas width is extended. Now you can see that none of the aspect ratios of the fonts or the shapes are changed. So you can see that the graphics and the fonts maintain their integrity. Now if you want to make the adjustment to make sure that your slide doesn't look odd, all you need to do is to make a couple of changes in the way in which your slide is constructed. Maybe you may want to change a few things like the the size of the floor or you may want to reposition some of your graphics to make sure that they are in line with your new slide aspect ratio. As long as you are able to take care of these basic things, you would be able to easily transition between 4 is to 3 and 16 is to 9 options. However, as a presentation designer, my suggestion would be that you decide whether you want to create your presentations in 4 is to 3 or 16 is to 9 aspect ratio even before you create your slides. Because once you create your presentation in a particular slide size, then to change it to another slide size is going to be a lot painful because of the kind of adjustments that you need to make as I showed you here. I hope you liked the simple video tutorial that I showed you today. If you did, then you will really love our free snackable PowerPoint course. It is a collection of 16 super short emails with each email giving you a 30 second PowerPoint tip or trick that allows you to improve the look and feel of your PowerPoint slides instantly. So click on the yellow button here and enroll into the free course and start impressing your bosses, colleagues and audiences with your newly developed PowerPoint skills. I'll see you inside the email course.